Hello and welcome everyone to another tutorial episode. Yes, it's been a very, very, very long time since I've done another one of these and uh, I feel like some people still need some help and uh, I shall help all that to ask. And you know, this is one of the major questions I have gotten is how to get to Minmus and all that good stuff. We will call this the Min Miss. Whoop. Wow. Min Miss. There we go. Um, don't know what happened. Uh, oh. Yeah, Min Miss uh, tutorial. Um, I don't know. I, I think I'm just going to stick with the Min Miss rocket for now. Um, this is a tested design. Um, it's a little bit different than um, my main launcher. Um, you know, I did a few episodes on constructing the main launcher. And, uh, you know, if you guys are really, really stumped on how I made it, I mean, I tried to break it down the best I could. But um, if you guys are really stumped, you know, I will do a video for that, you know, um, I, I really tried with that one to, you know, kind of break it down for you guys, um, it just, uh, you know, it, there's only so much I can cover, and not to mention, it's, it's a relatively simple design that works very well, I, you know, for me in this game, building very good rockets, like the first time never really works out so well um, it, there's usually a large amount of testing involved but yeah so anyways you can see this is going to be our main lander here pretty much I just need to throw on some landing legs um, let's see uh, we're gonna need four yes because we are landing on min miss and uh, oh yeah I totally forgot about this I always seem to forget one simple thing there our SAS units we need uh, you know decoupler SAS and uh, our RCS and our fuel now um I'm gonna go through the staging real quick and you can see our decoupling will also bring out our parachute and we do not want that so we want to de decouple and then we want to have control over our parachute uh, this will not be a return trip. They will be landing and staying there and becoming new inhabitants of Moon or Minmus Base Beta. So, um, you know, I, I just, I, I figured I'll show you the parachute and all that other good stuff. Um, now I'm just going to put another decoupler. I use the small engine. And this one is kind of uh, up to you guys with the engines. Uh, if you want to change, if you want to like use this kind of same idea, but you want to change the engines, you can go ahead and put on the Rackamax, the smaller engines. Um, you can put, I think, two would be probably more than enough to land, but you, I don't know. Um, it really depends. A lot of people like to go for, you know, these larger engines when you're landing, you know, uh, something like this the uh the poodle engine or uh, you know whatever um i find the poodle engine and even the lv909 which is what i have on here now to be a bit overpowered just a little bit it's it's not a uh you know it's not like strangely overpowered to the point where you know landing becomes a problem or anything like that but you do not, well, if you're going to min miss, you do not, and I repeat it, you do not need a ultra high powered engine to land. It's just the gravity there is so low that even having like a poodle engine, you can go from in orbit to like dead zero almost um, in a matter of seconds. So, having an engine like that to land is just extremely overpowered. Now, what I'm going to do with this design is, I'm going to use one orange tank. You can see I put another decoupler, and you always want to check your staging as you're building. So, you can see, um, 
this engine is going to fire once this is decoupled or, or well I could set it up like this so once this decouples this engine will fire now I'm going to cover some of these little basics I know some of you guys are way more advanced in building rockets I but this is just kind of for you know whoever that you know is basically going to be playing you know for new people and everything else so anyways um now we're going to take three of these they're the radial decouplers under structural and we want three so if you hit x you can get yourself down to three and there we go you can see and this is the a number really really good tip is when you're putting these radial decouplers even if it's these bigger ones uh, which I, I think I'm gonna opt for the bigger ones for, for right now um, you always want to get your mouse uh, your pointer almost directly in the center of these tanks and the, there is a reason now when you go to attach these really big tanks like this um, it, it makes it a little bit easier now I don't know what it is sometimes I have problems attaching these things they they act funky sometimes so um, what you want to do is you know find the best way and kind of line these things up the best way you possibly can and what I like to do is I like to go with the um, you know if you want to call it like the soldering points or something like that on the tanks uh, I find it to work the best way uh, as far as trying to attach these things you know sometimes I'll go like this and this actually kind of works out well too and you can kind of just place them and then afterwards you can go in and just do finer adjustments of the tanks and, you know for me I like to try to get everything symmetrical um, for the most part because the the better the symmetry is uh, the less you have to worry about when you take off so let's get this tank on here and if some of you guys are having problems trying to attach these sometimes it's better to kind of just aim it off to a side and then try to bring it down on top like that and that works perfect so now once these three tanks have been placed I like to go in and put in a strut for each one of these tanks so you, you don't have to change your symmetry or anything so the symmetry is still there and take it and attach I, I just forgot something to be honest um, whoopsie uh, let's go down here real quick uh, yes one major rocket design thing that I just kind of forgot about completely we need to put a stage in between I for, I forgot about this so you know don't be mad at me I uh, what ended up happening was uh, I'll explain it in just a little bit so anyways go back to your design change it so you put a engine in the middle here uh, and a large tank that's what we need so after that then put your decoupler on so here's our decoupler boom and reattach now this is where the strut comes in play because this is what kind of tripped me up well while I was talking is uh yeah you kind of want to put your strut you know somewhere in the center you know a little bit higher if you want if you want to put it more towards like the center of your rocket that works so um anyways I'll kind of discuss the orbital mechanics and stuff like that a little bit just uh yeah so now we need three more of these big 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 engines and uh what else do we need uh, we need these smaller ones yes I uh, you know once again I created this rocket and I tested it out and it worked pretty well I mean I ended up doing a few little stupid things while taking off and doing a lot of just weird you know dumb things so we got these now some of you might be wondering how is staging gonna take effect what how am I supposed to stage this rocket at least this end you can see all this stuff really isn't staged well 
you know you can see you got this big engine in stage with this engine so what we want to do is break it down real simple you want to start at the top of your rocket okay we got this and this so what this basically is stating is our capsule is going to come off with here and you look at this part of the staging so once this decouples this engine will fire I think I'm going to change that only because this is going to be a landing stage and you want to have a little bit more control to orient, 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 uh, orientate your spacecraft <laughs> if I'm even saying that correctly so afterwards we have this and we have this uh, where is our okay this is our decoupler so right here and right here so you want to move this right here is this decoupler so if this were to decouple then this is what's left you always want to you know I'm trying to break this down to be really simple for people so I'm gonna bring this down here okay so what this is set up as is now this is going to decouple and this engine will fire and it will be this whole piece right here alright now um, let's move down we don't really need to be concerned with the upper portion of our rocket now we have our three radial decouplers right here and these are our big decouplers so I'm gonna leave those where they're at right now and I'm gonna go with grouping the engines now with this specific rocket we want our three solid rocket boosters to fire with these three radial engines so these are the three radial engines grouped together and I'm just gonna move those down so you can see we have both of our engines in the same area now what I'm going to do is you can see that we have um, what is this here this is our solid rocket booster okay so we want once this um, once these three are decoupled for this engine or for the main engine for our last section of spacecraft to fire so the, oh, I mean well this will be our what sixth stage whatever you want to call it um, at least that's what it is right here we want to have this fire once our solids or once these three actually go that I think that will be better and so you look here and these are our three decouplers for the these large radial the large radial decouplers for these big stages so we're gonna put that here because what's gonna happen is these will decouple and the new engines well the new engine will fire so that is all set up the staging is completely set up now there's one thing I did forget again um, we need to add SAS and for you new people who don't know much about SAS or you know whatever you can see we have our or not our SAS but it's our RCS thrusters now for the new people once again who don't know a lot about RCS um, it's a very great tool but it can also screw you over like crazy so um, one of the major things about constructing a spacecraft especially your space portion of the spacecraft you do not need RCS thrusters in the atmosphere I that is one thing I think I will state um, when I was a noob at this game, I used to have RCS thrusters fire off the launch pad. And I thought that was a really great thing to do, and it's just complete stupidity. Um, another, another thing, too, and adding them, um, if you have a relatively, like, y your symmetry is relatively good, you really have no purpose for these winglets. Uh, if your symmetry is off by a little bit, and when I say a little bit, like, um you know it, it just really depends like if the weight is off just slightly I would say add them just to uh, keep keep it stabilized in the atmosphere once you're outside of the atmosphere uh, stabilization more has to do with your weight load and how it's um, spaced out between everything so this is going to be 
kind of an in-depth rocket design, I guess, uh, just kind of in the uh, VAB. My next episode will be launching this rocket and covering some of the, um, you know, the takeoff and how to take off and what's good about a takeoff and certain things that you can notice when you're launching your craft. So I'm not really going to cover that just yet. Um, one more thing I, and this has to do with staging, and this is kind of the thing I aim for. I mean, everyone else has kind of a different thing to aim for when they're doing their staging. Um, now, your rockets can be built basically, you know, in a way to, if you would like to build a rocket for a specific mission, that is kind of up to you. I have one rocket that kind of just works for everything. But what, what it really comes down to is your staging 100%. Uh, when you launch, you want the heaviest part of, the heaviest part of your, state, your rocket is going to be getting out of the atmosphere. Which if you look basically up to, you know, like right here, all of this is just to get this out of the atmosphere. So, when you look at this rocket, the main thing you want to do is lose weight as you take off. You can see these solid rocket boosters, they burn for 49 seconds and then they're dead. And that's just kind of a baseline that, that I always seem to notice that they die at 49 seconds exactly. So these will be gone you'll lose a little bit of weight from these solids then these main three engines will burn until they're dead then they're gone and then you have basically just this long pencil like rocket left over and that will be this is you know these three stages here or i mean this these three rocket pieces right here are for basically the lower middle and somewhat upper atmosphere while this last stage here is for the upper atmosphere and helping get into orbit while this stage here is for more getting into a you know using some of it to get into orbit um doing some you know maneuvering and such everything else and doing the minmus burn and this is our landing stage all right here this is our entire lander so, you always want to build a rocket that works very well at what it does, and you never want to have to think about whether or not the rocket's going to work. You know, I'm, now that I think about it, one thing I'm going to add, and I, you don't really need to add this, but I'm just going to put it on now for, um, you know, just to help with this stabilization, is just a few more struts. Well, three more, I should say. Uh, you know, struts are another thing that are always kind of a good thing. Uh, too many end up leading to a bad thing, but they work out, you know, um, it really just depends on what it is you're putting struts on. How, you know, how it is you're attaching and everything else. So it, it just really, it's a really kind of touchy subject with struts because if you use too many, your rocket will get messed up. If you don't use enough, your rocket will, you know, get messed up. You, you always have to find that sweet spot. Usually using too many is pretty much what a lot of people's problems are. So, anyways guys, if you haven't already, you know, for the new people, if you haven't subscribed already, you know, subscribe and check me out and, uh, you know, check out some of my episodes. I, I always put out some new ones, not to mention... Sim City and everything else, and Dead Space, and just all kinds of craziness. I don't think... Oh yes, one more thing I'll put on a ladder. But yes, you know, check out my you know episodes and all that stuff. Subscribe if you like me. I got a Twitter and a Facebook dedicated to nothing but Kerbal. And uh, yeah, just put that ladder on. There we go. And yes, I will see you next time.